guys, welcome to the Computer Warriors community. Today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about a few different terms, uh, memory and storage. Um, oftentimes our clients seem to get a little confused when we speak with them about you know, doing memory upgrades and what the difference is between you know, physical storage on a device and, and memory. So I'm going to introduce a couple of pieces of hardware to you and we'll go through a little explanation. So first off right here, this is memory. This is uh, RAM chips, RAM, random access memory. Now these chips live inside your computer and you know you might hear like four gigabytes or eight gigabytes, you know, maybe 16 gigabytes. Not a huge number. Now what that memory does is allow you to open up uh, you know, your operating system. It, it loads into memory when the computer boots up. When you open an application, you know, like Google Chrome or QuickBooks or you know, Outlook, that uh, you know, opens up into, into memory, into RAM. So that allows you to do more at once and multitask. That's what RAM is. Now, when you hit a brick wall, so to speak, and you're using too much of your RAM, then what it does is it actually creates uh, you know, virtual memory and, and borrows memory from the hard drive. And that's this guy. That's your storage disk. Now this guy is a whole lot slower than this guy here. So you want to make sure you've got enough RAM or memory in your computer to suffice. Uh, a general rule of thumb is to make sure you have at least 40% free space or 40% available memory at all times. Now to check that, you can simply uh, go to your task manager and one way to get that is by hitting Control alt delete at least on a Windows device and hitting task manager. It'll then tell you how much of your memory is being utilized. So we've talked about memory, we've talked about RAM, now let's talk about you know, storage, device storage. Um, many people consider this to be memory but it's, it's truly not. This is actually uh, storage that stays present after the computer powers down. What's here disappears as soon as the computer shuts down. What's on a, you know, a hard drive or solid state drive for that storage stays present you know, continuously. So for solid state drives and other hard drives, you're probably looking at maybe 128 gigs, 250 gigs, 500 gigs, or you know, a terabyte, two terabytes, four terabytes. It's a much bigger number. A lot more data can be stored here. Now what you're going to find on here are going to be your pictures, your videos, your, your music. And it's important to have enough of this on the computer so you can store everything that you need. And if you start running out of space on one of these drives, your computer can slow down and eventually crash. So just a quick education here today on uh, the difference between storage and memory. If this was helpful, please like and share and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.